Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can render stencils layers and what will be the uses of that particular layers. Yes, today's topic will be inside Unreal Engine and some part we are going to cover it inside Nuke as well. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my scene setup. It's a pretty basic setup, which I have did. And probably I can see my this thing is on top of this thing. So let me do this. Yeah, so this is okay for me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going over here and I can take main camera. So this is my camera setup. And if I'm going to show you my camera setup, so this setup I'm going to use. So probably you can see over here, I am using uh, a TMM lens and my current aperture is 1.2, right? So that I can get a good bokeh. So what you have to do uh, to render stencils layers. So I'm going over here and I'm going to add level sequence, right? So I did some experiment. So I'm going to name it like stencil underscore three. Let's save it. So this will open. Now again, you have to make sure that movie render queue is selected. If you are not getting movie render queue, what you have to do, just go over here and plugins and you have to type movie render queue. So you have to switch on movie render queue. That's it. You have to restart it again. After that, just you have to click over here, right? And you can easily see I'm getting few things. So I'm going to uh, disable it because stencil three I want to work on. And uh, what you have to do, you have to just click on unsaved configuration, right? So in unsaved configuration, few things I'm going to change where I want to render. So probably I'll render over here. Make sure your folder is selected and make sure you have given a name like uh, stencil underscore seven something I'm going to name it and you have to make sure what kind of resolution you are going to make like i'm going with the 192.0.1080 and frame range it's mandatory you can uh, select by using five and six or probably you can leave it as it is so that will render frame number first apart from that i need to delete my jpg sequence because i want to render exr sequence why exr sequence because it's a uh, it's having more data and also i want to save my transparency thing in it as well apart from that you have to go to default rendering and as you can see over here i am getting a stencil clip layer so what you need to do you need to add your stencil layer inside default rendering so i'm going to use actor layers why actor layers because i want to keep my few actors or static mesh actors inside that particular group right so i'm going over here and i'm going to click plus on it and make sure you have to select browse layers already i have created few layers but what i'm going to show i'm going to close it right so Keep it none over here and uh, you have to select browse layers as I'm going to select browse layers. You will have layers tab over here and make sure if you have any predefined probably you will have like this. It will be empty, right? So just I've deleted it. So what do you have to do? Just you have to right click on it and you have to create empty layer and you have to rename it like foreground or mid ground or background, whatever render layer you are going to create you have to name it right if you want to put few elements or actors in one layer you can do it if you want to split it in 10 layers you can do it as well right so after creating foreground what you need to do you need to select those elements which you want to include in this particular layer so i'm going to outline and in outline i need to figure it out where my these things are like I'm going over here and I have created a group like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this by holding shift. Everything is selected. Just go to layers and right click over here and add selected actor to selected layers, right? So I'm going to do this. If you want to recheck it, just you have to do and just switch off this eye. If everything is going to switch off, that means every actors are added inside that particular foreground group, right? Or layer. Apart from that, what do you have to do? Just go to outliner and what camera you want to render. So I'm going to add my main camera. Just click and drag over. 
here right it's pretty simple so now my camera is set my actors are set my layers are set now what else so you need to do few more things like you have to go over here and you have to make sure that my accumulator includes alpha is on if it will not on what will happen your alpha won't render right so i'm going to use this it might possible first time if you are doing it it will say a error or it will ask a error on and it will say that you need to enable it so how we can do this so just go over here and project setting and in project setting under engine and you can go under uh, rendering and in rendering you can go to post processing and you have to use enable alpha channel support in post processing by default it will be disabled you have to select linear color space only this option is working fine for me if you want just you can check allow through a uh, tone mapper as well but this option is working fine for me so i'm not going to change it just close it also if you want to render your background layer separately so you can create another layer but i'll recommend just i'll recommend add default layers what will happen it will render all the elements apart from actors which we have added in our foreground layer so it will be pretty simple so just switch it on and uh, i think rest everything is fine for me a uh, few more things i will change like i'll do anti-aliasing and sample count might be 16 or 8 it will work fine for me if you want to add some console commands you can use it go for it but keep it in mind that your render time will increase suppose that you are adding two layers so a single layer will uh, if suppose that single layer is taking one second to render if you are adding one more extra layer so what will happen your render time will be two seconds right so it will just double your render time if you are adding 10 layers it will take 10 seconds to render right so you have to keep it in mind so this thing i think it will work and also i if needed i can add some console command one thing i'll definitely recommend to do color output and uh, you have to use disable curve tone because i need to take that data to nuke and i think this will work fine while working inside nuke so i think the rest everything is fine i'm going to accept it and i'm going to render local before render just control shift s save everything and render local okay one thing i forgot to change once i have added my layers to foreground or uh, you need to tell my layers which layer i am going to render so what you have to do instead of none you have to do foreground that is pretty important to do that otherwise your single flat layer will render so now again i'm going to accept it now hit render local and just see what we are getting okay so my render has been done so let's jump to nuke and see what we have okay so i am getting my result over here and what i have to do i have to take a note called shuffle yes because i want to shuffle my all the layers and over here i am getting final image default layer which is apart from my all elements which i have added inside my that particular stencil layer and again i'm going to take another shuffle and where i'm going to shuffle my foreground layers right so i'm going over here and i'm going to use my foreground layers so if i'm going to check alpha i'm getting alpha over here and if i'm going to check alpha i'm getting alpha over here right so also i can take merge node and i can merge this will be my background and this will be my foreground right and again if i'm going to see it will be little uh, different like i'm getting few of my uh, what i can say a uh, hard edges so there are multiple ways to do that because we are adding alpha so if i'm going to select rgb only so probably i won't have uh, that much thing but still i'm getting so what you need to do just you need to take care about that if we have to merge both the layers in plus blending mode and if you can see i am having a better result and also you need to take care about that our result won't be pixel map i have gone through multiple documents of epic games as well and they have stated that it won't be 100 percent match but it's a pretty good match right now what's the profit of uh, uh, doing it if you want a separate like uh, color grading on background so i can take a grade node by hitting g on keyboard and if i'm going over here i can 
do my grade like this right suppose that i want to darken this area so it's pretty easy for me i'm going to take a roto node and probably i will do a rectangle like this and might be i can like do this double poly i can use like this or i can use blur node as well so i'm going to do this just see so this area will be little darken right if i want to add some element behind my foreground also i can do it so let's do it so suppose that i want to add some fog so i am going to take a node called noise just to show you and that particular noise will be probably on background like this not that much so i am going to lower down my opacity like this and probably i can do this over here let's do this and over here i am going to might be like gamma little down gain little up it might be possible i am taking a grade node and probably i will do a little color grading like bluish kind of stuff i wanted not this much probably this much and also i can add little tint to my highlights like this and if i'm going to see it will be like little fogginess i'm getting if you want just go over here in noise and probably i can fix it like this and it might possible you can do multiple things like uh, you want to cut down fog from top that also can be done so i can take a uh, again roto node and i can take a rectangle and probably i want to cut down from this area and also i am going to take a blur node just to soften my edges like this just see i can use double poly as well if needed i can do it and i can take merge node and i will blend it in stencil mode so what will happen so you can easily see i am not having anything apart from that right so this is the way how you can start thinking of uh, putting your elements in render layers stencil layers you can render it out from unreal engine and you can start doing compositing inside new so i hope this video will helpful for you to understand the process of rendering stencil layers inside unreal engine and using it inside new so if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day